Now Joseph had been brought down to Egypt and Potiphar, Pharaoh's chamberlain, chief of the slaughterers, and Egyptian man purchased him from the Ishmaelites who had brought him down there. The Lord was with Joseph and he was a successful man. And he was in the house of his Egyptian master. His master saw that the Lord was with him and whatever he, Joseph, did, the Lord made prosper in his hand. And Joseph found favor in his eyes and he, Joseph, served him. And he, Potiphar, appointed him over his house and all he had he gave into his hand. Now it came to pass that since he had appointed him over his house and over all that he had, the Lord blessed the house of the Egyptian for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was in all that he had in the house and in the field. So he left all that he had in Joseph's hand and he knew nothing about what was with him except the bread that he ate. And Joseph had handsome features and a beautiful complexion. Now it came to pass after these events that his master's wife lifted up her eyes to Joseph and she said, Lie with me. But he refused and he said to his master's wife, Behold, with me my master knows nothing about anything in the house, and all he has he has given into my hand. In this house there is no one greater than I, and he has not withheld anything from me except you, in so far as you are his wife. Now how can I commit this great evil and sin against God? Now it came about when she spoke to Joseph day in and day out, that he did not obey her and to lie beside her and to be with her. And it came about on a certain day that he came to the house to do his work and none of the people of the house were there in the house. So she grabbed him by his garment, saying, Lie with me, but he left his garment in her hand and fled and went outside. Now it happened when she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and had fled outside, and she called to the people of her house and she spoke to them, saying, Look, he brought us a Hebrew man to mock us. He came to me to lie with me, but I called loudly. And it happened that when he heard that I raised my voice and called out, he left his garment beside me, and he fled and went outside. So she left his garment beside her until his master came home. And she told him the same thing, saying, The Hebrew slave that you brought to us came to me to mock me. And it happened when I raised my voice and called out that he left his garment beside me and fled outside. Now it came about when his master heard his wife's report that she spoke to him saying, Your slave did such things to me that his wrath burned. So Joseph's master took him and put him into prison, the place where the king's prisoners were imprisoned, and he was there in the prison. The Lord was with Joseph and he extended charisma to him. And he gave him favor in the eyes of the warden of the prison. So when the warden of the prison delivered all the prisoners who were in the prison into Joseph's hand and whatever they did there, he was the one who did it. The warden of the prison did not inspect anything that was in his Joseph's hand. For the Lord was with him. Whatever he did, the Lord made prosper.